Nick of the day. Cool, let's learn it. Nick of the day. Okay, for those that have just started on the piano, I'll show you exactly how to play that lick and the chords that go with it for intermediate kind of level and explain what's going on in the background. And then for the advanced, I can show you how to take those concepts and apply it in all the 12 keys, but also how to take the same concept and then apply it in another song. Okay, so now let's learn together. Okay, so first let's establish the key, right? So let's listen to it. I don't have a bit, so I start from C to C, right? Oh, it just happens that it's C, otherwise I would have done etc. until I reached the, the key, but it's C. However, it doesn't sound like a C major kind of scale. So if you've never touched a piano, C major scale is easy. It's all the white notes, right? from C to C, right? If you're not familiar with that, I've made a video on how to form a major scale, okay? Any major scale from anywhere on the piano, right? So not just C, for example. But anyway, for this time, it's not really a major scale. It's called the bebop minor scale, okay? These are the notes of the bebop minor scales, right? Okay, I don't have the correct fingering for it, but hey, at least you know what they are. Just learn the bebop minor scale. So all the notes that she'll be playing, it's moving on that scale. We could try and listen to what she does. So the way I do it is I listen to the highest note. You see, because that's what we're playing. Huh? So I'm looking for the melody first. I like to start with the melody. If I'm not sure, I just repeat it many times and I try to listen. At least I've heard that. So, and then something. So let's listen to it. That's it. Da, 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 da. If you're not sure, just sing it. Okay. And then what she does, she she sort of uses many hands. Now she plays a different instrument, and it's on purpose I've chosen this video because I want to teach you how to play by ear. Okay. So so that you can't just imitate what she does, right? So so far we have. I can't sing, but and then use your fingers. Now let's take it slow. So and then if you have to repeat a section that. And then faster. And then you can repeat just to start. Okay? So that you, you get the concept. And then. And then you can add a little note. Can you see? That's what the bebop does. It just adds a little 
kick like a rhythm as if you you're playing a drum right and another thing you can do is slide it okay now she does a bit more than that right she does that's just a melody right so let's let's hear the chord so to hear the chords what i like to do is listen to the both extremes the melody and then the lowest note that she plays so so far i got two lowest notes that, that's what i'm listening for the lowest notes and the highest notes and then what's in the middle i'll get that later at least i get the shell right so so far i've got so i'm looking for it there you go found it so it's got to be a lower note along that scale so i'll try the lowest note the, the note that comes after that so, so far so good so let's verify that's it found it so okay and then after those two notes it seems that it's a single kind of melody as we found earlier that's it that's so now you've practiced that now we can hear we can try and listen to actually let's do both combined the lowest note and the highest notes Actually, I uh, made a mistake there. So, so now I'm gonna try and help myself with my both hands, right? Instead of so, instead of one hand, I could do both hands, or even, and then bounce with the left hand can you see instead of in one hand use both hands now what's left to do let's find out the harmony that she's got in the middle of it right so let's go back I can hear that note. Let's try to find it. So, so far, I've got these two notes. And what does it look like? Basically, it's a C major chord, right? So we already know that she plays in the C kind of scale mode, right? So she can play either a C major or a C minor chord. Okay, but this far she plays a C major chord. That's how you play a C major chord, right? Okay. Don't get too bogged down with the names major or minor or bebop scale. Basically, learn that the bebop scale was, and then the major scale is all the white notes, right? For the C, right? In this level, that's what you need to know. And then now you got. Um, a C major chord but taking the lowest note on top so it's called the first inversion so and then we know it goes down for the lowest note okay can you see how she plays between a major mode to a minor mode right so and that's what's great with that bebop scale it just minors the mode really whilst keeping it a bit major because can you see it's got that major third right so okay now she plays a bit more than these three notes right so let's listen to it i can hear that i can hear that a there so okay and it's easy like if you don't have a trained ear it's still easy to find it just find as i said one note at a time one note and then when you're sure you found it look for the lowest notes when you're sure you found these two notes 
listen for at least one note in the middle find it and then when you found it your ear will say there is something missing and then your ear will actually learn to decipher what's missing because you already know what you found already right so does that make sense so that's what i'm doing so so that's it this has a name but i'm not gonna bore you with that name right now if you want to know on the intermediate level i'll show you what i think that name is called right so the first beats of the lick are and then we know that it goes to that thing but is it that that she's playing let's listen to it Lick of the day. Da -da. I can hear da -da. so oh. right I'm playing the bebop me minor scale until I find my notes right da -da. so so far I know it's okay I'm not sure about the G if it's still there but let's listen to it Lick of the day. Da -da, da -da. That G is still there. Da -da. So, okay, I think I can hear one extra note. I don't know if it's me that is making my brain is making up that note, or I can hear it, but I can hear it. So, it's that note F. Let's listen to it. Da -da. Sometimes I sing it. I'm sure I hear it. it. She may be playing it, she may not be playing it, but I, can, I don't know if it's my, my brain that is making up that sound, but I can hear that. That's what I hear. She may just be playing, which is... A C minor scale with the added um, B flat there. So, right, so I don't know, but I can hear it, so I'm gonna play it. <laughs> and then now she plays what we learned earlier with both hands. And then just, just take it slow. So, That's it. So now master this and then we can try and play along with the original, right? Let's try. Next time, all right. Lick of the day. Ooh. Done. <laughs> That's it. Okay, now practice it. So as I said, the only thing you need to know is the bebop C the bebop minor scale in C. So Okay, that's how you play it. And the C major scale, which is all the white notes. I don't want to be crucified by those that love the correct fingering, so I'm going to play it with the correct fingering. Okay, I, I'm not sure what the fingering for the bebop minor scale is. So I'm just going to make my own fingering, right? So that's all you need to know. And then when you when you know that concept, you can try to listen to what we hear and then try to play it, right? Now, if uh, that's understood, meet me in the next level, intermediate level, where I can show you a bit more what's behind it. In an advanced section of this lesson, I will show you how to use that concept to play We Worship You by Israel Hutton. Follow me.